Hey again, this is Clint Higley with MSCRMAddons.com. Um, and uh, basically what I'm going to cover for you today is uh, using Documents Core Pack and specifically uh, talking about creating a DocuSign document with multiple signees. I'm going to go over how to um, actually add the uh, multiple signature areas or DocuSign elements to your template, um, how to do that and kind of explain that process. And then also explain the process of how to use um, the create document button inside of CRM um, to set this up and to send uh, these documents out and show you kind of what that process looks like. Um, I'm going to flip on over here to the demo system and go ahead and open up a template that I've been working on here uh, for the account. Um, this is just a standard generic run-of-the-mill uh, non-disclosure agreement between two parties. Um, so I'm setting this up. I'm going to have a uh, one area here for uh, the first signee and one area here for the secondary signee. Um, so to go ahead and get that started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert some mail merge fields. You can see here I've already inserted a few here into this document. But uh, what I'm going to do is start off by adding the, uh, the sign fields here for the, uh, for the first signee. So what I'll do is come down here to my insert button and um, go ahead and click on the insert DocuSign item and insert a signature field. So that'll be signature field one and then come over here to my uh, my second area and go ahead and insert another signature field. Um, now this is basically I've got these two signature fields inserted now I basically need to define uh, which signature field belongs to which signee. So what I'll do is I'll highlight it I'll just kind of click on it there and go right on up to my field properties here and, and you can see here I've got the name of the field and um, who the signature belongs to so signee one that's great um, don't need to set my X and Y offset but you can if you want to actually kind of place the signature field uh, you know a little bit where you want it to go inside the document so I'll say okay to that one and now come on over here to the, my next one go to my field properties and I need to assign this to uh, the second signee. So what I'll do here is just come right here to the drop down and go ahead and add a new signee to it. So I have uh, this this is belonging to the second signee here. I can do as many as I want to delete uh, delete individual one, uh, delete the last one if I want to, but I can have as many signees as I want to have here. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and just complete this form. Uh, out so it's going to be signed here. I want to throw the full name in here and the sign date here. Date signed, and then I'm going to add here again DocuSign item. Go ahead and add the full name and add the sign date here. So now I can go ahead and check these and make sure they're set up correctly. So, yep, this is sign E1 again check it again sign e1 that's great um, basically it just it defaults to the first sign e so if you're adding uh, like a second sign e here you need to come in and just change that property here in the field um, you can also change for example here the the font the font style to match kind of what you got going on in your um, in your template uh, you can set here the font size the color whether it's bold italicized or underlined however you want to do that um, again, on to my last one. Go ahead and assign that to sign E2. So I'm almost done with this document. I just got one more signature field to, uh, field to add here. I add here uh, an initial field right into there. So great. So I'm finished here with this document. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to save it right on back into CRM here. Um, go ahead and save it. All right, and I'll go ahead and close this down. Now what I'll do is I'll come on over into here and uh, pull up the account uh, that I'm going to be actually uh, sending this NDA to. So uh, the account here is 50 below um, and I'm going to be sending this to the primary contact to sign and then it's going to be countersigned by, uh, by the owner here which is going to be me. Um, so to do this process what I need to do is go in here to my um, and click on create document it's going to go ahead and load up my templates here. Now, usually this is what you're going to see, but I've got everything 
separated out here. I've got um, my tab here so I can go to my DocuSign. Pick my DocuSign NDA document. I'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, do my file type here. And I'm going to attach the document as a DocuSign email. I'm going to define my first email recipient. Uh, so that's going to be Howard Higley. Uh, I was going to read that information out. So this is the email that I'm going to send it to. And then I'm going to grab my second recipient, which is going to be the actual owner, Clint Higley, here um, of the record. And go ahead and send it to uh, my work email address. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and click Next. Now it's going ahead, it's going through, it's creating that document. Um, it's basically pulling the template out, reading the information out, and spitting it out to me where I can then open it up and get a preview of it. Now you can look here, all the fields are filled in. Everything except for the DocuSign, everything that's going to be handled by DocuSign. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm satisfied with it. I'll go ahead, I'll click Finish, and away it goes. All right, so now um, I have, uh, let me go over to my Gmail account here. Just going to go ahead and pull that over for you so you can see. Uh, so this is the Gmail account here of the first signee. Um, it's basically asking me to go into DocuSign and review that document. So I'll go ahead and review. And just basically go through the general DocuSign process here. So agree um, and then continue. And then go ahead and start. So first thing I'm going to need to do is just initial here. All right, that's great. Put that in there. Come on down here to my uh, my sign field here. Sign that in, and I'm good to go. So I'm finished. All right. So that is the first portion of it. Now, uh, let me check my work email here. Just go ahead and open that up real quick. As you can see, I've got a document here that's been sent to me, so for me to countersign. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and review that document as well. And it's going to take a minute to uh, bring that up here. So let me go ahead and log into this. Time for me to review my document here and uh, just go ahead and do the countersign. So I can come down here, I can see where the first party has initialed the first page. I can see where the first party has signed. Um, and then I'll go ahead and sign it myself and finish that up. So, let's see. So now. Uh, once that's done, it's going to take just a brief moment here for uh, DocuSign to deliver uh, my finished document over to me. So you can see here DocuSign has delivered it. I'll go ahead and I can open that up. And pull this over for you. There we go. There's my uh, non-disclosure agreement. Uh, with my DocuSign fields, everything's signed. Everything's all good to go. Signatures are in there. It's been signed by one and then countersigned by the owner um, of the actual record itself. And then now I can just basically track that, track this email back into CRM, and I'll have my, um, my signed PDF in there. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you again on another video soon.